Sunday. Welcome to the studio. It's Froyle here. I'm so glad you've joined me. Today we're going to be using some of those numerous textured papers that we've been making and putting them into a beautiful collage. So make sure you join me and you see which ones I actually decided on using. There's just so many. These techniques are so simple but so incredibly effective. I can't wait to show you how it all turns out. Yay, here we are with my fabulous horde of papers. <laughs> We're drowning in circles inspired by the glorious handmade roses paper i'm absolutely loving this series of making these papers it is so much fun these techniques are so simple and you can do them to your own you know personal tastes and likes they don't have to be circles they don't have to be these colors but it will inspire you to create something fabulous for your own collage right so we're going to first of all put a beautiful little collage together using one or two of these glorious circles the only problem is going to be how am i going to decide which ones to use oh man right so i pulled out my trusty black art journal that i'm working in the moment it's 20 centimeters square or eight inches and I'm continuing in it from the 100 days of collage. I've pulled out my trusty scrap bag, some papers from last week, a little bit of leftover wallpaper that I've been using recently, and 100 circles. <laughs> I've got my fabulous matte medium, which I personally love to use, and I've decided on one thing. I've decided on this piece for that page, and this piece for this page, and that's as much as I've decided on, and we're ready to go. Now, the problem is going to be deciding on which of the 100 circles I particularly want to use right now today for my focal point. That's gonna be the tricky bit. But you know, I don't have to use them all today. I am so excited to have such a fabulous collection of elements to use in my collage when I want them. Yippee! That is always a fabulous part of doing a whole heap at once. Now, this is paper packaging with a um, print on it from the jelly plate. I love it. I love using paper packaging because, hello, it's free. <laughs> You've got to love a free resource. Right, all right, we're going to start with that. And then I think I'm going to use some paper from last week. Rummaging through my scrap bag, I decided to pull out this little slither of music notes. That looks fun. I'm going to put it right there. And I may put something else over it. I haven't decided yet. But you've just got to get started with your collages. You just get moving and then you can change it as you go along. That's the beauty of this kind of medium. No fear. You can always change it or rearrange it, paint over it, add some more pieces to it if you don't like it or you change your mind. I just love it. Now I have to decide on the circle that I want to use and I'm leaning towards this one because I just love that effect with the clear see-through element. I think that's glorious. So I think... I'm going to use this one. Just going to tear it a bit more circular in its shape. And that's going to look just beautiful. Now I'm going to need something for underneath. So I think I better put that down first. I'm going to put this paper from last week at the bottom. Yes, that is a brilliant idea. Now, it's such a simple technique, taking prints with bubble wrap, but geez, it works out really beautiful. I'm just loving these pages. This one's just on the tissue. It's not being coated. 
and it looks fabulous. Love it. Just love it. Now that's going to go like that, but I think we do need a little bit more drama. So perhaps some of my fabulous beehive paper I made last week, we could put it under there or we could put it under there. Yeah, that's gonna work. Righto, let's play with that idea. Now I really like it like that, but if I put it like that, we've actually lost the music notes. Oh well, that's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> it's all the continuous layers that make the collage beautiful. And sometimes you just have to make a decision and start moving to even decide what it is you want. So bye bye music notes, you did look beautiful there for a couple of seconds. This is my fabulous handmade beehive inspired paper that I made last week. This has got the um, coated matte medium on it. It's fabulous. I love it. Absolutely love it. I think it turned out so well. And that was such an incredibly easy technique and very effective and affordable. Hello. I used recycled packaging for the tissue. <laughs> ah, just glorious. Now for my beautiful circle element. Which way did I want it? That way or that way? <laughs> it really doesn't matter too much. It looks fabulous. Don't get stressed out if your collage gets all wrinkly with the tissues. I think it adds a lot of texture and character to the artwork. So, you know, you're gonna have to let that go. <laughs> there is no chance of perfection. <laughs> Things are gonna get wrinkled, they're gonna get torn. They're not gonna go on exactly how you want. If you're going to create great art, you've gotta let all that go to allow yourself the freedom to create something truly expressive. You can't be worried about trying to achieve perfection. Look at that, that's just fabulous. Now that is the string gel on white tissue sprayed with some eye zincs in the tea color, sitting on top of paper packaging, bubble wrap stencil. Oh my gosh, I just love it. The colors, the textures, even the wrinkles. I really enjoy this whole composition. Yay! So this side, I'm starting with this piece and, and I think I wanna put on some of this glorious leftover from wallpaper. I just used this wallpaper in my recent Skillshare class. Seriously, you should check that out. We're using found papers. It's absolutely fabulous what you can find around your home or from the dollar shop that you can use to create glorious artwork. So I definitely think I want some of this. Do I want it at the side or at the bottom is the question. I think we'll just rip it and see how we go. Wallpaper samples are absolutely fabulous collage elements because they're paper. Hello. <laughs> paper is paper, people. You'd be surprised at what we can use in a glorious collage that's made of paper. Yep, I'm going with that. That's working. That's working. Tear it off at the bottom here. Now, which circle are we going to use? We're going to use black, white, red, or bronze. That's the question. That I can't hear you. <laughs> I need an answer and I can't hear you. <laughs> black, white, red, or bronze. We could go with red. That'd be a really nice little red element. Oh, yes. I'm liking that. That's a serious contender. Or oh, this one. Oh, that looks like an atom, I reckon. I reckon um, that one or that one, um, we could use a bronze one. No, too much the same as the background. We could use one of these glorious roses. Boring, that's not gonna happen. 
uh, what are these black ones? That's a possibility. Possibility. Uh, there's one of these other black ones. That is also a very serious contender. That is pretty nice. Oh man, what about the bronze one? You knew this would happen, didn't you? Too many options. Uh, the bronze one's pretty nice. Loving the bronze. Oh, the black could be quite dynamic. Yes, the black would work. For sure, for sure. Love that one. Oh, there's also this red one. That's pretty nice too. Oh man, stop looking. Just stop looking. <laughs> stop looking. Well, I did love the red one first. Oh, so I think I'll stick with my first love. Okay, I'm sticking with my first love. We're going to go with that beautiful little red one there. But we do need something to put here. Oh, I've got some more wallpaper. I've got this little piece of wallpaper sample, which I think would work really well at the bottom. And the little beautiful red one on here like that that is rather gorgeous yes that's working or the black one oh man i can't decide i can't decide oh the black one's pretty nice too oh, okay i'm gonna stick the background down and then i'm gonna surprise you with which one i actually decided on can i do both <laughs> can I? Ooh, now I'm telling you, that's quite possible. What about if I took the black one off the edge? Ah, oh, man, that's going to solve all my problems. Righto. I'm going to see if I can get that stuck on. Now, the background looked so beautiful when I put it on that I decided I wasn't going to fully cover it up. And I've returned to my first love. <laughs> So I ended up with the red. See how transparent the tissue goes? It's absolutely magnificent. This works so well to create beautiful textural elements and fodder for your collage. I'm loving it so much. So what do you think? Is this the one you would have chosen or are you now screaming at your screen? <laughs> then you must be really enjoying this series. Yippee! Now I've got a few more techniques that I've been playing with. So if you want to stick around, I've got a few things to show you. Baby, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> I want to show you some things that I've been working on. So this was the um, handmade roses I did with the golden light molding paste in my fabulous piping bag and squashed it flat love it this is the original handmade roses the paper that i buy that i love that we're using for the inspiration of these textured designs so i also said that the one is so cool that it'd be great to cluster them on a piece of tissue paper this is ordinary tissue some of it's recycled some of it is from the dollar shop this one I clustered on the tissue. I then used the fabulous baking paper to squash it flat, just like that. Absolutely glorious. And then I sprayed it with the eyes inks. Now the tissue looks fabulous. That's going to work really well. But what I was surprised about is how well the baking paper came up being sprayed. So clearly I knew it wouldn't stick onto the waxy surface of the baking paper. But look how cool the texture paste um, roses adhered the spray ink. I mean, hello, that's just beautiful. So this one is the Seth Apter 
dye spray i sprayed it on and it worked really really well and of course i had to do it again because i loved it so i sprayed this one this is the um baking paper i sprayed this with red this one is the red dilutions post box red shimmer spray sprayed it on the baking paper i am so shocked that it worked as well as it did I love these. I can cut these out and use them as elements in my collage. They're going to work really well. And it worked way better than I thought it would, which is always fun, right? <laughs> so you can cluster the roses or you can create the roses just singularly. That's the baking paper. You can spray the tissue. You can spray the baking paper. Oh my gosh, it's all working really, really well. This was the light molding paste, the golden one that I used for these ones. I love it. Right, so what are we going to do now? Something, obviously. Now, for the next experiment, this is the inspiration. It's fabulous, beautiful paper. It's got these great lines that make this circle pattern. And I used this in my 100 days of collage. I absolutely loved it. I got it in this white color, but then of course I sprayed it all sorts of different colors. It worked really well and I loved it. So I'm like, we could do this same process with the fabulous icing bag. It's not really a bag, I know, but what else do you call it? It's for frosting. <laughs> now this time I've got the Liquitex Basics light molding paste. Last time I was using the golden light molding paste and I thought I'd try this one. Uh, it's cheaper for a start. I am in New Zealand and golden products cost a fortune. Also, because it is this fabulous squeezy bottle, I can just squeeze it into the container really, really easy. I mean, easy is always a good option. So I'm trying that one and I'm going to do the lines like on my inspiration and see how that looks. This frosting kit or piping bag really is fantastic. Now, the thing is with this, um, I'm not going to flatten it down because it has this raised texture of the paper, which is what I'm copying the idea of and loving. You may or may not like that idea. I may or may not like that idea. But that's what we're going with to start the experiments. Ta-da! There you go. It's a pretty easy. Now, this is just cheap dollar store tissue from the shop. Uh, there's nothing special about it. It's just a gift wrap tissue. But it works really well for what I want. Now, my lines aren't overly straight, but you know, you get that in the big jobs. Um, this process works really well. It's really easy. Pretty sure this is my second favorite kitchen utensil for my artwork, after my pastry brush, of course. <laughs> now that's fabulous. It does leave little peaks. If you don't like that, you can always flatten it down, but it does work really well. I'm not squishing it, like I said, because I want it to stay in those lines. And that's a pretty easy thing to do. Now, I think this would work really well with the matte medium application. Here is one I prepared earlier. Ta-da! Like I said, it's on the cheap gift wrap tissue. And I did this just like I showed you. It's, um, it's not too bad. It's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. I think it would work really well with the matte medium, so I'm gonna do that to it next. And of course, you can spray it. So if you can't buy this fancy pants expensive paper, seriously, dollar store, couple of bucks for a, a frosting kit to put your molding paste in, and it's really easy. I think this one is more runnier than this one. This one's a bit stiffer and chalkier, the light molding paste in golden, but golden costs a fortune in New Zealand. This Liquitex one is a little runnier. It might cause your paper to crinkle, but uh, it's working just the same. Hello, no problem. So this is how the tissue dried, and it's pretty good. There's my original inspiration. Oh, come on, same, same. <laughs> so if you're worried about the molding paste snapping off, you can put the matte medium 
texture over it like I've done with this piece here. Look how easy it peels off. Make sure you've got the right plastic underneath. And this one's had that coating. I think that that's probably going to be better as far as it's not then going to allow those lines to snap off. I mean, I did make a little oopsie when I was painting the matte medium on. I kind of broke a piece and put a hole in it, but you know, come on, we're making collage paper here. It's going to be okay. But putting the matte medium on this one, with the lines i think makes it a bit stronger it kind of then adheres the molding paste onto the tissue a little better i just think it's a bit tougher and when i'm working it needs to be tough <laughs> just saying <laughs> so i think this works really well i'm happy with this i think it's just as good as buying the really fancy pants expensive paper or maybe you can't get it in your area so hello piping bag or a plastic tubey thing from the dollar store it's fabulous put some lines there's recycled tissue we're good to go pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy now that would paint up really well so maybe we'll do that next let's just give it a little spray see how well that looks now i do have my craft paper down to catch the overspray but i like using my plastic folders because I can easily move the tissue then once it's sprayed. They get a little soft once you wet them with the spray. They tear if you try and pick them up. I'm using the Isaac Seth Apta T. Uh, it's a pretty cool color. Oh, yes. Yeah, I knew that they would spray up beautiful. Look at that. Oh, man, we need a little bit of bling on this. Seriously. Okay, so Isinks again with my gold mine. Hello, loving it. It's a gold mine if you can find it. <laughs> and I'm just doing a little spritzer of some gold and some tea. Look how fabulous the soft molding paste takes the ink, the dye. Spray, it worked really well. Of course, we knew that the tissue would. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's a great experiment that works really well. And you can make any shape, any combination, any lines, straight or swirly or whatever takes your fancy. All of the papers that you wanted to buy that you've seen me use, you can now make. Yippee! And make sure you keep them in the collection because next year we're doing that 100 days of collage again. Yes, we are. And you're going to need them. Yes, of course, the paper dried up absolutely fabulous just loving it this technique is working really well and you will have so many papers you'll be drowning in them <laughs> it's just beautiful this is the other fabulous paper that i was looking at that i had bought during that crazy process of the collages it's amazing yes we can do the same thing exact same thing there it is i did it already to show you exact same thing with this and the Liquitex Basics just swirled it around like that created the paper and look look looks exactly the same <laughs> but a heck of a lot cheaper so here's an option for you of course you can do any shape you could possibly think of I left the lines I didn't squish them down like I did in the handmade roses so they're quite um raised up and it looks really cool i'm really happy with it i could spray this any color that i can dream of it looks exactly like my inspiration and i'm pretty happy it really is entirely endless what you can do with this so simple and basic technique frosting kit some light molding paste and some cheap tissue hello i know you need to do it so i'm pretty sure we need to have look at the back oh man that's pretty cool too so if you don't want the sharp pointy side because it does make it a bit sharp and pointy um the bits like meringue that you know sticks up if you don't like that look which i don't really like that look um the back side's a lot smoother i'm loving the back side way more you know i'm gonna spray this one and i might spray the back side <laughs> I wonder how it would look. 
raised texture or not raised texture. I mean, it all works really, but man, that's fascinating. Now I'm going to spray the front and then see how the back looks because that could be quite cool. We need some, we need some blues and greens with this one. Don't really know that there's much left in this shimmer spray, but the Dilusions one I also like to use because, oh yes, I can get them over at Warehouse Stationery, which is a five minute walk. So I tend to use these ones as well. Oh, that's pretty nice. Come on. That's pretty nice. What about some distressed? I'm feeling distressed. No, I'm not really. <laughs> Let's have a look at what that'll do. <laughs> well, that's not doing much. It's not even coming out. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, just feeling like this one with the swirly pattern really should have a kind of a blue-green, almost sea colour, don't you think? Yes, I do. Oh, man. What about this? After midnight. Ooh, what are we doing after midnight? Oh, that's purple. <laughs> I didn't even realise that was purple. But, yeah, let's give it a little spritzer. Okay, that's got some depth to it now. Much happier. That looks pretty beautiful. I'm happy with that. It looks glorious. I wonder what the backside does. <gasps> Don't touch it. Don't try and pick it up till it's dry because you'll tear it. So now that I've got it on the plastic... I can move it off my table and put it on the floor and then keep going with the next brilliant idea. That is looking rather glorious. All of these papers will work so well for collage. Absolute fabulous treasure trove of endless paper making ideas. Yes, the paper dried up absolutely beautiful. There's a bit of dark patch on the edge there because that was on my plastic um, file fold up when I put it on not to worry you've got to love the variety of color the texture is beautiful it's actually um better than I thought it would be which is really nice right the back's really cool too I could spray those little white patches if I wanted to use the back and didn't want it so sharp but now that it's all sprayed up and dried and finished I'm actually liking it a, much, a lot more so you know this idea is a winner Thanks for joining me in the studio today. I really hope you enjoyed my little collage. I probably didn't choose the circles that you liked the best <laughs> because there was just hundreds to choose from. Um, I hope you enjoyed the other techniques. I know I get really addictive with doing particular things, but we have a series. It goes for a while and then I move on. So don't worry. If you're bored with this already, I'll be moving on soon and we'll be into something completely different. So next week, I'm going to play with some new stencils that I have. Really fun. So you want to come back and join me for that. You can also find um, the other videos in the link under the description. If you've missed some of the previous episodes on the different techniques that I've been making with these textured papers, just have a look at the link. I've put a playlist together of mixed media techniques. I know, right? It's awesome. I'm so organized. <laughs> So come back and join me again next week and I really look forward to seeing you then. Bye.